Namaskar, I'm Pali Nitike, third year MBBS student at Negrim Shillong. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about uh, books for first year MBBS student. But before all of that, I want to thank you all for your sweet comments. After seeing your sweet comments, my condition just changed like this. Or up my bilkul tiku. Thank you so much. So, in today's video, I'll be talking about books. But I want to tell you, even if you are not a medical student, you should watch this video. Even me, I'm not a physicist, but still I read about those uh, space, cosmos, theory of relativity equal to MC square, those things. Like, I don't know the depth, but still when I watch a movie or when I talking, when I see people talking about it, I can contemplate, like, at least I can understand something like that, okay? You don't need to be a medical student to read medical or to know about medical, okay? So, if you watch this video next time when you see people discussing about uh, books for first year and BBC student, you may have idea, like, you may become one person is smarter, like that. So, you don't need to be a medical student, just watch this video for your knowledge for your entertainment that's what i believe okay so there are three subjects in uh, first year anatomy physiology and biochemistry anatomy like uh, there you will study about human anatomy like it, structure what are there's like uh, layers of skin suppose just telling you example like that okay and in physiology you will be studying about the uh, function all the functions i mean uh, what are the function and how it is occurring in uh, for example in your eyes like what are the function how it is occurring those things are part of physiology okay and in biochemistry you'll be all about like molecule molecular level like uh, enzymes and translation transcription those things you'll read about in biochemistry okay so for We'll begin with uh, anatomy for anatomy you have to buy bd chorasia in anatomy there will be like a uh, associated subject small small subjects like uh, embryology and genetics uh, osteology histology uh, general anatomy those things okay but uh, for those books you need to ask your seniors okay you just buy bd chorosia rest of the things you ask from seniors and if you are not getting you can buy or otherwise you can get it from library also okay so <clears throat> this is our bd chorosia volume one uh, there are three volumes for bd chorosia uh, okay this is bd chorosia and this one is for osteology you don't need to buy this one osteology and this one is uh, B theories for histology somebody told me but uh, no need to go for this don't buy this and there will be this is netters <laughs> at last so this is netters this uh, I think you have heard about these things like Grace anatomy Grant's anatomy even in movies this is Grant's anatomy I don't have Grace anatomy and this is Langman for embryology. This one is the recommended one. Okay. And I have another one. This is IB Singh, Inder Beer Singh. This is also embryology. So, but uh, you can buy this, uh, this one, Langman. Okay. So these are the books. You don't need to buy these books. I'm telling you honestly. You buy BD Chorosia and the rest of the things like you look from seniors or library or you can manage it. But... You have to buy BD Chorosia, major chunk of the subject is covered by BD Chorosia. And there is another book like Cunningham for uh, this section for Kedaber. No need to buy here. I bought, I never read. <laughs> so um, those were the books for anatomy. Now coming to physiology. For physiology, you need to buy like in every subject, there will be a standard book. But you don't need to read that standard books, I'm telling you. It is like so hi-fi, like for physiology is Guyton and it is not necessary you should read standard books only because uh, sometimes not all the topics but some topics are beyond your understanding, beyond UG level, okay? So you don't need to read standard books. For anatomy also, a standard book is like Grace Anatomy, Grant's Anatomy, these are standard books, okay? So, but uh, it is not necessary like that. For physiology, 
you by Ida Guyton, Genome, Jikepo, there are many. I have uh, this one, this is Genome, this is also a very good book, but I'll tell you to buy Guyton. If you buy Guyton, and if you're reading Guyton, read Guyton till the end, don't listen to anybody, because uh, Guyton is not an exam oriented, it's a concept oriented. Uh, when you get into medical colleges, like there will be two books, two kinds of book. One is for exam oriented and one is for concept time. Okay. So if you are reading Guyton, you may not be able to reproduce that thing in exam, but it's still your concept will really be clear. That's what I'm telling you. So if you are reading Guyton, just read Guyton. Don't go for other books. Just before one month, you can see for other books. Otherwise, you can stick to Guyton. You will still be like pass on me. Okay. But it's hard to reproduce in exam. That's the only problem. And for biochemistry, like uh, there are standard books also, and uh, no need to go for that. But for biochemistry, there is like uh, Vasudevan, Satya Narayan, Lipin. I don't have a head, but I don't know where I get there's a problem. I otherwise I would have shown you. So, but uh, no worries, I'll tell you, you can buy either uh, Vasudevan or Satya Narayan. Lipin code is on Kosdir site, and uh, it is like pictorial. You won't be able to reproduce it in an exam. So better you go for Vasudevan or Satyanarayan. Any one of the books. Both are good. Okay. So that was it for first year books. So if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe the channel, like the video and share the video. Thank you so much. Until then, see you next time. Thank you.